Scott Reynolds Nelson, Oceans of Grain, How American Wheat Remade the World. Embark on a historical journey as Oceans of Grain, How American Wheat Remade the World by Scott Reynolds Nelson, explores the crucial role of wheat and grain trade in shaping global events, economies, and politics. The book highlights the significance of grain trading routes, grain's role in warfare and diplomacy, and its impact on the development of empires. Discover the crucial role of the Bosporus Strait in grain transport, the rise and fall of once mighty agricultural empires, and the influence of new strains of American wheat that ushered in a seismic shift in global grain markets. Get ready to unveil the fascinating dynamics of grain in shaping the world as we know it. Grain, the Hidden Force of History Grain has played a significant role in human history, causing conflicts and shaping empires. It acted as a pinch point in grain transport for thousands of years, triggering political events like the Arab Spring. Even the English word lord has a connection to bread. Grain stores acted as prototypes of banks, and restricted grain imports caused starvation and food riots in Germany's turnip winter. During World War I, human civilization has been eating bread for over 14,000 years, and the grain trade played a role in the development of the U.S. interstate transportation system and the dwindling of old world agricultural empires. The book highlights how successful empires simply straddle trading paths that came first. Wheat and Empires The history of wheat cultivation and trade in Ukraine and the Black Sea area is a story of empires, military strategy, and technological advances. From the ancient Greeks to Catherine the Great and Russia's ambitions to control the bread supply of Europe, wheat exports have shaped political and economic events. Although the flood of American wheat caused a crisis in the 19th century, Ukrainian farmers' specialized grains eventually made their way to the New World, providing wheat strains that could adapt to different climates. The story of wheat is the story of the rise and fall of empires and the foundations of modern agriculture. The Role of Cotton Farming in the U.S. Civil War Cotton farming in the South, fueled by slavery, becomes so prosperous that it triggers the Civil War. Additionally, wheat farming gradually replaced slavery in the North due to its feasibility. The grain merchants, lawyers and railroad owners collaborated in opening Midwest grain trade, causing a surge in European settlers to the region. The Republican Party was a political alignment of these interest groups, and even Abraham Lincoln had worked for the railroad industry. The Impact of U.S. Wheat on Europe The surge of wheat from the U.S. Midwest to European cities between 1871 and 1880 had a profound impact on the continent's economy. The value of all U.S. food exports to Europe rose from $32 billion to $231 billion, with cheap bread becoming available to workers moving to industrial cities. European farmers shifted to meat, dairy, and other enterprises as prices for grain dropped by 40% between 1870 and 1900. However, this disruption caused a significant agrarian crisis that began in 1873, leading to the Great Depression. Governments like Italy and Germany heavily taxed U.S. grain to protect domestic agriculture and boost spending. Despite its consequences, areas around port cities flourished, becoming lasting hubs of meat production. The U.S. transformed European diets and economies, demonstrating the power of the telegraph and the importance of supply chains in an increasingly interconnected world. The Impact of Cheap U.S. Wheat the influx of cheap U.S. wheat disrupted the agricultural economies of the Qing, Ottoman, and Austro-Hungarian empires. Meanwhile, industrializing countries like Britain, Germany, France, and Italy thrived as their workers moved to manufacturing cities where bread was now more affordable. The Ottomans, previously successful as a grain-gathering empire, could not feed their military due to a decline in their grain taxation system and the importation of British flour. The Austro-Hungarian Empire's premium-priced flour exports were threatened by the U.S.'s adoption of semi-automated milling techniques. Inexpensive wheat and European-controlled tax systems also drained the Qing Empire of its resources. Russia's Railroad to Revolution 
Russia's plan to build the Trans-Siberian Railway as an alternative to its taxed grain exports was derailed and it lost access to the Port Arthur. Despite funding from French investors, the investment left Russia in weakened financial state. This caused the government's poor management of the grain trade, leading to rationing, riots, and eventually the Bolshevik Revolution and Communism. Starvation in Soviet Russia The Bolshevik government's collectivist approach to agriculture led to a decline in food production, triggering famine that resulted in millions of deaths. The forced redistribution of land broke up efficient large farms, and the remaining overworked agricultural population responded by producing less. The massive fatalities of World War I further reduced the number of men farming. Later, Stalin's brutal attempt to collectivize farms in Ukraine in 1932 led to another famine that caused millions more deaths. The Soviet population decreased by 7 million in 1920 and by 11 million in 1921, with 5 million people dying of starvation. As we conclude our exploration through oceans of grain, it becomes clear that the importance of bread and grain throughout history extends far beyond the dinner table. The control of grain trading routes has been at the heart of power struggles, leading to wars and revolutions. In particular, the introduction of American wheat in the late 19th century drastically impacted global grain markets, causing land devaluation, economic crises, and the collapse of agricultural empires. At its core, this book sheds light on how wheat has shaped human society, dictating politics, economies, and the evolution of civilizations around the world, leaving an indelible mark on history.